Automobile manufacturers are required by federal safety standards to design for safety in such a manner that the public is protected against unreasonable risk of injury or death in the event crashes occur. Computer simulated crash analysis has evolved over the years to help augment the crash test programs and to give engineers insight into crash events. These nonlinear simulations have become commonplace during the design phase to save time and cost. By coupling crash simulation with a standalone optimization program, the auto body structure can be tuned for improved crash performance, but due to the long computation time required by each simulation, typically fewer than 10 designable parameters can be considered. In contrast, the Genesis Linear Structural Optimization Program, which tightly couples design optimization with linear finite element analysis, is routinely being used to solve large-scale problems with over 100,000 designable parameters. The Equivalent Static Loads, or ESL method, takes advantage of the ability of the Genesis Linear Structural Optimization Program to solve large-scale optimization problems while using the responses from a nonlinear finite element analysis, such as a crash simulation. ESL Dyna is an implementation of the ESL method to seamlessly perform optimization based on an LS Dyna nonlinear analysis with Genesis as the Structural Optimization Program. All the different types of design optimization techniques in Genesis are available in the engineer's arsenal to design this crash structure using ESL Dyna. LS Dyna is a product of the Livermore Software Technology Corporation, while Genesis, Design Studio, and ESL Dyna are products of Vanderplatz Research and Development, Inc. This video illustrates the use of ESL Dyna in a frontal crash analysis. The goal in this case is to minimize the intrusion of the firewall into the passenger compartment. Eight points in the firewall were selected to measure the intrusion. Equivalent static load cases may be defined for any number of LS Dyna time points. In this example, topometry optimization is used to modify individual shell element thicknesses in the designable region. The thickness of each element is set up to vary from one half to two times their initial thickness. There are 5,200 design variables. The total mass is constrained to change by plus or minus 10 kilograms. Design Studio for Genesis is used here to illustrate the designable structure in red with respect to the entire vehicle. The firewall is not designed, but is included in the remaining views of the structure. ESL Dyna is found in Design Studio under the Plugins tab. Locations of the executables for Genesis and LS Dyna are set by the user, as well as the path to the Dyna input files. Once the ESL problem is set up, it is run within Design Studio. When the optimization has finished, the shell thickness results may be visualized in Design Studio by selecting the Post tab. The initial shell thickness plot shows part of the A-pillar has the thickest shell elements at around 3.5 millimeters. The final design cycle shows the optimized element-by-element -element thickness distribution that limits firewall intrusion into the passenger compartment during a frontal crash simulation. This particular example took 10 LS Dyna simulations and 50 Genesis design cycles to complete. The LS Dyna simulations averaged 40 minutes each, while the Genesis design iterations averaged 25 seconds apiece. The computer platform used was an HP XW4600 workstation running Windows Vista 64-bit with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Most ESL Dyna problems, including this one, give good optimization results after only 5 LS Dyna simulations in 25 Genesis design iterations. Here is an LS Dyna fringe animation comparison of the initial design versus the optimized design.
The relative displacement results show that intrusion of the firewall into the passenger compartment has been reduced at all eight measurable points. Total mass has been redistributed and increased by less than 10 kilograms. This video showed the improvement of a structure for full frontal crash. Using ESL Dyna, it is also possible to improve results for other types of crash such as side impact, roof crush, frontal offset, etc. Besides topometry optimization, ESL Dyna also supports sizing, shape, topology, and freeform optimization. ESL Dyna makes it possible for engineers to increase the safety of their vehicle designs with a minimum computation effort. For more information on ESL Dyna or any of our Vanderplatz R&D software products, please visit our website at www.vrand.com or send email to info at vrand.com.